Good morning, Liberians all over the world. Today is a great day for Liberia. When our people are at the poll as I speak, casting in their votes, isn't that amazing? At least our country, Liberia, can go to the poll and vote every six years, even though I know that's a long time um, to wait to vote six years and still those that are given the opportunity of leading our people still doesn't do anything. <laughs> that, that, is, that is so absurd, right? Um, they do nothing to uplift the lives of our people and to give them the life that is so desired and deserve because Liberia deserves better. I bet all of us will agree that no one wants to live a poverty-stricken life. No one wants to live below the poverty line. But in Liberia, many of our people, they live below the poverty line. It's very true. I, I think um, most of our people live on a, a dollar a day or even less um, because of the way and manner in which the country is managed. It is so deplorable in Liberia. Our people are suffering. And today they have the opportunity of making that major decision in their life to go to the polling booth. <laughs> you know, I, I believe that Liberia should go to the polling station rejoicing, dancing, because there is a new horizon. There is a new life that is awaiting them, a changed life. But if you stay home or you go drag into the polling station, you are only doing it to yourself and doing harm to yourself. You need to crawl if you have to. You have to walk. You have to run. Whatever you can do, jump. Be excited that you are at the pole polling station and those of you who have decided not to go i want you to go rejoice rejoice because this is your time you have the authority in your hands to vote vote who you feel is the best person the better person to bring a better life to liberians don't be discouraged don't be despair don't be hopeless Hope is right around the corner. A new life is right around the corner. So as you stand in that line this day to cast your vote for a leader, I want you to rejoice. Be glad. For this is the day the Lord has made. He said rejoice and be glad in it. Today, October 10th, is the day he has made for you to rejoice and be glad by making that major decision in your life and in the lives of 5.2 million Liberians. That is an amazing thing. You have the opportunity. In Russia, they pretend to be having elections, but they know that they have a aristocrats government a dictatorship, a ruler. So people won't be excited to go to the pool. So many other countries in the world today, we see that they oppress and suppress the people like China and other countries. But we are blessed that we can go to the pool and vote our conscience. Liberians, be glad. Rejoice. Be happy. Storm your feet. Jump as high as you can. Go to that polling booth and put that thumb or that check mark or that X mark on whoever you think is best. But I feel Alexander B. Cummings and Charlene Brumskin are the two you need to check. Or you, you put an X or you put your finger, which is your fingerprint, your thumb on that document. To show that you have exercised your franchise. And there's no need to be afraid. I know there are things going on in Liberia that are despicable, that are sad, that is hurtful, that is discouraging, that is shameful. Killing people, one another, because of a person you really don't even know. 
How many of you really know George Weah? How many of you can really hang out with him? How many of you, he have helped so much that you, today you are from mat to mattress? Or you are living in a decent home? Not a patha home that they built for those South Africans in South Africa when they suffer them, when they struggle, when they became slaves in their own country? That's the home that is built for you guys and you are so excited that he built homes for you? What home? There is a president that could come and build something better for you. Give you flush toilet in your home. Give you singing. Give you everything that you think you deserve as a human being, not as a second class or third class citizen of your own country. Not because they pay your WIAC fees. 174 years, who paid it for you? I'm just a reminder. I'm just reminding you. So now that you are on your way or you are there at that police station and you are watching me on your iPhone or whatever phone you have, I want you to think twice before going in that boat. I want you to think very hard before checking, putting X or putting your finger, your thumb on that, that document. Think hard. Look at your life. Look at those around you. Are they better off? Look at, look, look at the environment. Is it better off? The way man and we should got to the pole today. Did you walk? Did you run? Did you crawl? How did you get it? Did you come in a Cadillac? Or BMW? Or Mercedes Benz? Or taxi? Did you ride on a motorbike? Or a keke? Or a bus? Or van? Why did you go to the pool in today or on? Did you find it very easy? I know it wasn't easy, but you made it there. And because of that, I want you to vote your heart out. Vote so that a new person, a person that we can all believe in, can become president and vice president, our land of liberty. Because Liberia is truly the land of liberty. It is so beautiful. The beaches, the waterfalls, even the tropical forests we have. Oh, Liberia is a pretty country. And do we want it to be better off? Do we want to see the beauty of Liberia shining and coming out? That it will be so bright? Because right now, the beauty of Liberia is hidden. We don't see it. We don't see the beauty of our country because of the way the country is managed. We have bad managers. We had and we have today. Don't you want a new manager? Someone who can bring this country beauty out that people can see from the outside and say Liberia is truly a beautiful country and the hearts of our people are beautiful. Do not listen to people and cause you to cause murder and go to prison for life. Because if you are fighting for a particular person, and you got involved with murdering somebody on behalf of that person. Guess what? That person is going to become the leader of Liberia and you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. And what good is it to you and your family? What good is it? Are you going to enjoy Liberia being in prison? Being in the dungeon? Being beyond bars? Can't hardly find food to eat? Will you enjoy the person that you are killing for or on behalf? Will life be okay for you beyond bars? Or are you going to give you an executive clemency when you are a murderer? Don't be fooled, brothers and sisters. Do not be fooled by those who want to hold the gabble of our country, the leadership of Liberia. Be very careful. Think twice before you cast that vote. Think twice before you put that check mark or that X mark or that finger, uh, that thumb of yours on that document. Think twice. Don't jump to conclusion right away. As you even stand in line, I want you to think. Think before you do it. Think, my people. Because what you decide today could give you a brighter life, a better life. Or it could give you a terrible, dilapidated, just a, a life that is so bad that I bet in Liberia, I understand that some people commit suicide 
Because life is so hard, they just can't make it. And we don't want that happening to you. We love you. We care about you. That's why we keep talking. That's why we keep talking. We're not doing it because we hate anyone. We are only advising and giving you our one cent of advice. You can take it or you can leave it. But I can admonish you that if you accept and you take our advice, you will have a better life. You know, yesterday I was listening to Heron Costa who was kicked to the curb, you know. Um, he was so sure that he was going to be vice president on a Joseph Boykai, and he began to announce it. You know, I wonder, you know, if you really was going to be vice president, you won't announce it until they announce your name. But he went ahead and announced his name, that he was going to be vice president to one of the worst people who wanted to be president of Liberia, Joseph Boykai, and he was kicked to the curb. Now he went on Facebook and saying, oh, don't vote for Boyka, don't vote for Joshua, and don't vote for Ellis Coming. They will not change your life. They will just fool you. Nothing going to change. That's the kind of life you're going to live. No, brothers. He's angry because he wasn't chosen. He's angry because he doesn't have anything. Even the COP that he was part of and planned to organize, he was kicked out. That's the person that people were following. He doesn't know what he wants. Don't listen to this dude. Don't listen to him. I don't know why you people follow such guy, but it is stated that us Africans, we love to support the wrong people, the worst in the bunch. <laughs> and that's what we like. And that is so discouraging and so shameful. We need to step up and begin to see things as it is and for what it represents. There are people in Liberia who are good, good people, good people, even out of Liberia. Good people, people who have you at heart, who wants to help you, take you from that terrible life you live in the slums of Morovia, of Liberia, and give you a better life. I'm not going to promise or say that you're going to happen overnight, but as they say, and as Kami said, within the first, first hundred days, you begin to see the difference and feel it. Why don't us give him the chance? You give George Real the chance, he ruled. For six years, nothing. We don't see anything besides fixing <laughs> um, parks in slums and all over the place. Water sitting all on the grass and messing up the place. Don't be contempt with that. After you go and play soccer all day, you go home and there is no food. How do you feel? There is no soap to shower with. How do you feel? There is no good water to drink. How do you feel? When you have to go and use the beaches for latrine, how do you feel, Liberians? How do you feel? You don't even have good drinking water. You don't have even water to shower. How do you feel? You don't have any means, Harley, of getting around. You don't have no money to buy things that you so desire. How do you feel? And if you know that it wasn't good for you, vote. Alexander B. Cummings and Charlene Brumskin, number four. They will give you a better life. They will give you a brighter life. I know with God above, our right to prove, we will overcome. And I know it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in the day because no one builds a house in the day. But eventually, as we work along with them, as we hold their hands up, like Aaron and, and, and others held Moses' hand up when the Israelites and the Amorites were at each other fighting. When Moses' head was head, head up, hands were head up, the Israelites won. Let us lift Cummings and Brumskin hands up and Liberia will rise again. So thank you, voters. Thank you, those of you who changed your mind from the worse to the better to vote your conscience to have a brighter Liberia. Subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for returning. And thank you for your consistency. I love you. If it had not been you, I won't be here today. Those of you who have not subscribed and have watched my video, just give me the chance. As I ask you to give comments and Brumskin the chance in Liberia. Subscribe. Subscribe.
Watch my video to the end because there are good things at the end of my videos. So please watch them to the end. I want you to please share my videos, like them. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time a video comes up. I want to ask God in his special way this day. Ask for his wisdom in leading you, Liberia, as you vote. That you will vote the right choice. Make the right decisions so that we'll be taken out of this slump we are in. The dilapidated country we live in, the filth that we wallop in, that we get out of it. So may God bless you immensely and may God bless the Republic of Liberia. Thank you and I'll see you soon. Play your part and let the results be the testimony of your efforts.